Yeah, a few months ago, I was out preaching, and uh, I don't like to stop preaching once I get started. And, and, you know, we always have people behind us on the road that are, as I'm sure everybody that does this kind of ministry has, uh, they all run by and roll their windows down to have such pleasantries for you to help you on your day. But um, somebody was behind me uh, as I was preaching, and they were, you know, I couldn't understand a word they were saying, and, and they were getting very loud and everything. And uh, my dear friend Yoli said, John, you need to come talk to this guy. I said, Yoli, not now. I, I don't have time. I said, uh, she goes, no, really? So I said, okay. So I turn around and I uh, look out and here's this uh, gentleman sitting in his car and he's driving a transportation car uh, that delivers patients to doctors. So he's got this um, patient in the back of his car, but he stopped there literally crying his eyes out. So I go over there to talk to him. I said, are you okay? You know, what's going on? And he's going on and on and on in Spanish and and Yoli's uh, translating and uh, he's saying, thank you, thank you for preaching. You were here, we were here almost a year ago and we heard your preaching and we were sitting in that room and we got in our cars and we left and we just want to thank you. And then the passenger, the poor passenger, he, he was happy for the driver, but he just went ahead and got out of the car and walked to his, uh, to his appointment. And then the guy gets his wife on the phone on FaceTime. And so I'm looking at his wife, beautiful wife, on, on his phone on FaceTime with a little baby. She's bawling her eyes out, crying and crying, talking in Spanish, uh, bouncing her baby around. And I'm just going, wow, this is, this is pretty cool. And uh, when they were done and they said, thank you, I said, well, hey, why don't you come to St. Andrews and, and we'll, go, uh, we'll go after church, we'll go get some lunch or something and have a, have a talk, just have a great afternoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And uh, I said, well, that's great, that's wonderful. And uh, I think I had a time of prayer for him. And then I said, well, I gotta go back, I gotta finish preaching here. There's a bunch more people in here that were just like you were on the day you were here. And, and uh, so he, he said, okay, thank you. And I turned around to walk away. And then something hit me, like, like what? And I couldn't figure it out. And it was like, what is, what am I missing? But I felt like I was missing something. People watching this probably already figured it out. You're a lot smarter than me. But I, I didn't get it. And I got back over to where I preach. And then it hit me. I said, you only stop that car. And she goes, why? I said, stop that car. And she st yelled for him and he stopped. And we went walking over there and I said, I think his name's Alejandro. I said, Alejandro, how, I have to ask you a question. How in the world did you understand the preaching? Cause I don't preach in Spanish. And he said, I heard every word that you preached in my own language. And I'll never forget that. I could not believe that. And again, that's, it doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't happen to everybody. So you don't have to, it, it's, it's not all about you. It's, you just have to be willing to go. And God makes up for the deficits. God makes up for the things. I can't tell you how many people that don't speak a language that God pulls out of that place. I don't know, it's just, it's just beautiful. He is the one that does all the things down. Anything good down there is from him. It's certainly not from me or anyone else on that sidewalk. We, we don't have that kind of power and uh, never will.